Well, good morning, everybody. So excited about this word that I want to share with you today. It's found in the book of Exodus, Exodus 14, 14. And I want, I'm going to read the verse to you, but then I want to explain the context of the verse because I think it has such powerful meat for us today. In Exodus 14, 14, it says this, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still, or in some versions, silent. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still or silent. And what this is dealing with is dealing with Moses and the Egyptian, Moses and the and the Israelis are running from Pharaoh. They've been released from Egypt, but Pharaoh changes his mind and goes after them to take them captive again. And as they're running, they come up to the Red Sea. And when they hit the Red Sea, the Israelis, who are five million of them, can look back and see the chariots coming at them. They are blocked in. The Red Sea here. And, Moses, and, and Pharaoh and his army behind them, ready to either kill them or take them back as hostages. And they turn on Moses. And they say, Moses, why did you bring us here? Could we have, could, were there no graves in Egypt that you brought us here to die? Why don't you just leave us alone? Leave us in our captivity. Leave us in our heartbreak. Leave us in those things. It would have been better than to be here. But they didn't understand that where they were was almost a breakthrough. They didn't understand that where they were was almost that breakthrough. And so Moses turns to him and he says, you know these Pharaoh and his army that you see right now? You will never see them again. This is the last time you will see them. And God speaks to Moses and says, lift up your staff. And he takes his shepherd's staff and he lifts it up over the Red Sea. And the Lord says, I will fight for you. You need only to be saved. And let me tell you, there's some great power in stillness. After you've done everything that you know to do, child of God, and you have ran and you fought and you've done everything that you know to do, and you still need breakthrough, the greatest thing that you can do in that moment is to simply stand still. Stand still at the edge of the water with Pharaoh behind you and waiting on God to move the circumstance. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to stand still. And you know, we're not a people that understand standing still. <laughs> we're people that want to make things happen. We want people that want to push and to press and to kick. And all those things are right. But after you've done those things, and it still hasn't moved, the greatest power you have in that moment is to stand in the confidence of the God you serve, stand at the edge of the water with your hands lifted, waiting, standing still and silent. Don't fight. You don't have to fight anymore. God said, I will fight for you. You need only to be still. You need only to be silent. Don't move. Just stand right there and wait for my deliverance. Stand right there and wait. And as they stood there and they waited in silence, the sea in front of them broke open and five million Israelis crossed over on dry land. And once they were completely over and the Pharaoh and his army came and thought they could do the same thing they stepped into the water and God held the water until Egypt was in the center of the water. And then he flooded them with the water so they couldn't run out. And they were all killed. They were all killed in that moment. What Moses said was right. This thing that you're struggling with, this enemy that's chasing you, this enemy that's on your back that won't let you go, there's going to come a day, child of God, where you're not going to see him anymore. My prayer for you as we're talking right now, that today is the last day that you see that enemy that's chasing you, that's, that's nipping at your feet, that's messing with your mind, that's torturing you. That today as we're praying and as we're talking, that it would be the last day and that you would stand still and let God fight for you. Trust him to part and bring breakthrough to your life as you stand in the confidence of the God that you serve. Where does that confidence come? In the character of God. Who is he that we serve? 
He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is my Redeemer and King. He is immutable. He can't be moved. He can't be changed. He is all-knowing. He's all-powerful. And he is forever at work on your behalf, child of God, for you. So today, let this verse burn in your heart. I will fight for you, says the Lord. You need only to be still. Father, I give you praise today, God. And I lift up everyone that's watching today, God. And I pray, Lord God, that whatever, Lord God, they're waiting on for breakthrough, Lord God. That they, I know they have pushed, they have pressed, they have cried out. They've done everything they know to do. And today, God, you're speaking to us to learn from this story from Moses, to know that you will fight for us. We need only to be still. Lift up our hands and wait for you to bring the breakthrough. We do trust you, Jesus. We are confident in who you are. Great is your name, my God. And Father, I just declare breakthrough, God, for everyone that's watching today, God, that your power, that your anointing, that your grace would move on their behalf and that what has been chasing them, what has been gnawing at them would be broken today in the name of Jesus and liberty would come and they would walk on dry ground, God. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Well, you have a great day today. The Lord bless you. I will see you tonight at prayer, 9.15 p.m., YouTube Live, Facebook Live. Have a great day.